third world living in old west TV show stereotypes, here we come, I suppose, but modern, with skyscrapers, the internet, and delivery drones. At least the freeways will have less debris. The buildings will be shinier and more glorious and foreboding, and corporations will be majestic and respected. The decadence of the religious ceremony of a politician being sworn in has occurred, like the ultimate decadent multi-hundred million dollar taxpayer-funded church-supported political wedding to make the office of the president even more ostentatious, narcissistic, greedy, and selfish by the very nature of the position. Ripperies, grandstanding, decorations, outfits, as if we're still living in the times of kings, queens, grand balls. Pardon me, beautiful enchantress, you left your glass slipper behind. Oh, your majesty, we bow to the next king. But you know, without a British accent, and while using words like cool, awesome, the best, amazing, and maybe even dude thrown around for good measure. Romeo, Romeo, like, dude, why are you that way, Romeo? That's so bay. Why do we find it acceptable to have such ridiculous, decadent, expensive, religion-laden ceremonies for this sort of thing? Can people just not see that religion is being used to prop up a politician? Oh, let us pray for the politician, and let culture pray to the politician. In Jesus' name, amen. The sixty elephants, no less go over to cares and lions, oppressed and immortals, forty bakers, and books, and bakers, and birds, and wobble on air. Bigger than life, larger than life, look everyone, birds that warble on key. Birds that warble on air. And yes, this has been happening for a long time, and I wish it would stop. Watching this year's inauguration in conjunction with the kinds of things Trump said, and just things over the past couple years, has made me realize just how much theater and religious entrapments that media and government attempt to use to pull wool over everyone's eyes with, truly realizing just how deep the rabbit hole goes when it comes to how ridiculous and contrived the whole thing is. Our media has essentially been a wing of the government in a whirlwind of theatrics and bias. And that has been the tradition for many, many decades now. And it's not working anymore. The political media system has essentially been destroyed, except in the view of people who want to keep their eyes shut. The theatrics we see on CNN don't stop at CNN. They run throughout the higher echelons of the government. It's a horse and pony show. It's an awards ceremony. It's an expensive wedding. One with the very, very best stately and formal outfits. The very best and most expensive effects and production values. The very best appearance in quite literally every sense. The beautiful decadence of the very wealthy and privileged where people get to ooh and ah over how stately and patriotic and majestic everything is, with birds that warble on key. The people, or a lot of people anyway, have woken up as to how they've been duped by media, but there just hasn't been anything reasonable to replace it yet. And the people will be duped again, and we're watching them get duped again, and very quickly, I might add, by ideological bullshit. And that trend will continue if we don't figure out quickly what is actually going on. We need to know what's happening, because the people who are still in La La Land, in Disney, happily, merrily, Obama didn't do anything bad in the Middle East, everything is perfect world, where Hillary was truly the most wonderful tiger ever, and shame on the gay community for allowing hookup apps to have so few black people on them, and biological sex is a social construct, those types of people just aren't going to get it unless an extreme incident wakes them up, 
and then they'll be utterly horrified because it will have hit them all at once. I don't know how to reach those people, just as I don't know how to reach people who think like Black Pigeon Speaks, who thinks women are the cause of all the world's problems because they were actually given rights. And then there's people like Gavin. People of both extremes just seem like they're too far gone to even have any sort of reason with. I mean, what are you supposed to do? Disney, 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 look, Disney. We can yell, stop the hate, over and over again, and it's going to stop hateful mindsets. Do you know why it seems so much more extreme than ever? Because we don't trust mainstream media or hardly any media anymore, which means we're not trusting a number of other things anymore either. So now, where do we find out what is real? What is truth? What is actually happening? We can't spew things that there's no way to really prove. We can't be ridiculous and pull the Alex Jones crap. At least not and have any validity anyway. This presidency is going to make us more aware of how things work than we've ever been as a people of this country. We must learn how it works. We will become more informed and do what we can to keep this government working for us and not just corporations, or we will perish. We must reject the notion of career politics because politicians are the ones who are supposed to be there for the people, not the corporations who are truly there just to make money. Politicians aren't supposed to be there just to make money. Again, they're supposed to be there for us, but that hasn't been happening in the upper echelons of the government for a long time. We must reject the notion of massive decadence in the higher echelons of the government. We must reject the expensive ceremonies. We must reject referring to political figures in religious contexts. We must reject nationalistic virtue signaling. And we must reject corruption all across the board. As much as fake news is actually out there, people must stop calling everything fake news just because it makes them uncomfortable or doesn't match their narrative. This is on all sides.